Hello techies and welcome back. This is the fourth part of SAS numeric function. I'm your instructor Sambhav and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get the notification of my latest video. In this session we are going to discuss two new functions in SAS which is log and log 10. So I hope you are very much aware of it. Log is nothing but the logarithmic value. And then we will do some practical examples to see or understand the log functions of SAS. So uh, till now we have discussed all these functions min, max, sum, mean, seal, floor, int, round. If you have not seen this video, please go to the playlist and you can see this other functions as well. So in this session we will talk about log and log 10. Uh, I have given a very simple definition. Log it returns the natural logarithmic value of the argument and this is a syntax. It is a natural logarithmic value. We will discuss that. I will explain it to you what exactly it means. The syntax is variable name and the function log and then you have to pass the argument. So this argument can be a numeric value or a numeric constant. Similarly log 10 it used to returns the natural uh, sorry not natural logarithmic value for the base 10 of the argument and the same syntax except that here the function is log 10. Now let us understand what this log is all about. What is this log all about? Now guys I hope you remember this part. Let's say if I tell you what is 2 to the power 3 which means 2 into 2 into 2 which is nothing but equal to 8. Correct? Now this is exponential 2 to the power 3. The same thing can be expressed as in the form of log. Now let me represent this as let's say if I am writing uh, b to the power c is equal to let's say a assume I am creating a formula b to the power c is equal to a that means here b is 2 c is 3 and a is 8. Now this can be transformed into the log this is nothing but a log basically a log a, a logarithmic way of explaining this would be log of b that is the base of the value a is equal to c what it means what do we mean by this let's assume that i am representing this in the log form so i can write log the base is 2 so this value becomes the 2 and 8 and this will become 3. So what I'm trying to say is this means that how many times 2 is multiplied by itself to get the value 8. How many times 2 is multiplied by itself to get the value 8 will give your log value. So this is just sorry, it was 2 to the power 3 2 into 2 into 2 which is nothing but equal to 8. Now I'm saying how many times when I'm representing it in the log form I'm saying how many times 2 is multiplied by itself how many times 3 times so this is nothing but your log value to get the result. Let's say similarly I can write 2 to the power 4 which is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 which is equal to 16. So I can represent this in the logarithmic form which will be log and the base here is 2. The base here is 2. So how many times 2 will be multiplied by itself to get 16? How many times? 1, 2, 3, 4. So my result would be 4. right? So the same thing I have broken down here in the formula b to the power c which will give you result a so in the form of log we can write log to the base b and a will give you the value c so this is transformation from to the power into the log i hope it is clear now let's say for example if i tell 
10 to the power 3 is how much? 1000, correct? So I can represent the same thing. So log, so this time the base becomes 10 and I am saying to get the 1000, how many times 10 should be multiplied with itself? So this becomes how much? 3, right? Now sometimes guys, this base value would be missing. This base value would be missing. So if I tell 2.7, right, is equal to how much, right, is equal to how much. Now if this base value is missing, if no base is specified, so in this case you see the base is 2, here the base is 2, here I have given the base as 10, but here there is no base. If there is no base given for the log, it means it is a natural log natural log and when no base is given the natural log is nothing but e and the value of e is 2.718 just like your pi value remember pi value the value of pi is 3.41 something 3.414 right so similarly here the value of e is 2.718 so if nothing no base is given for the log it becomes a natural log which is e and the value of e is 2.718 so let's do a practical example to understand this so let's say i'm creating a data set i'm creating a data set called as log1 and let's say i'm taking r1 is equal to log of 2 the base 2 so how many times will be we will multiply 2 with itself to get the value 8 similarly let's take another example log 2 the base 2 and let me give it 16 similarly result 3 is equal to now let's take base 10 right and let me take 100 and r4 is equal to log 10 and let me take the value 1000 right r5 is equal to log now see i'm not specifying the base value so i'm trying to calculate the natural log so i told you the natural log value is 2.718 now this is not the exact value this is an approximate value right so let's see the result prof print data is equal to log 1 run Let's execute this piece of code and check the result. So see, 3, 4, 2, 3. So the first question was how many times 2 will be multiplied by itself to get 8. So the result is 3. Similarly, how many times 2 will be multiplied by itself to get 16. That is a log value. So this will result to 4. Similarly, with this 10, how many times 10 is multiplied by itself to get 100. So the result is 2. How many times 10 is multiplied to get 1000? And uh, for the natural log guys, as I told you, this is not the exact value. There are more numbers, recurring numbers. So I have just taken up to 3 digits. So you see the result is somewhere close to 0 0.9999. So somewhere close to 1. So how many times 2.718 is multiplied by itself to get 2.718? So the result is 1. So I hope you would have understood the concept of log. Uh, it is very much similar to the power. Uh, if you have if you have forgotten what log does, so please look into this example. You will be able to understand what log is. That will be all for now, guys. Thank you so much for your time and patience. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. You have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you very much.